What's up guys, how you doing? RJ over here and today is kind of like a special day for me because we're gonna start building my new engine, my blog, my head, everything and I am so freaking excited because it gets me one step closer to getting my car running back again. So we're over here at 412 Motorsports filled with some amazing cars left and right. There must be like 5,000 horsepower here and anyway, yeah, look at that. That is my dirty block right there, but it's been uh, honed, it's been ported. I don't know if you guys can see right there the the actual cylinder walls. Basically, they've been uh, they've been uh, ported to my new pistons. So Sam over here, he uh, he made me he made me change pistons, which was a good decision. Uh, and we ended up going with CP Pistons 85 millimeters or 84.5 uh, 84.5 millimeters so and over here that's my S52 crank and yeah putting it back together so anyway we're gonna take you through the whole process and how we build this bottom end in the next few hours the master himself over here making sure the block is good. I mean, the crank. So, I mean, trust me, this dude right here, he's got an inset. You see that E30 right there? That's like, that's like wild. It's like almost a thousand horsepower on a low day, seriously. It's like insane. So I'm following his recipe of success, which he runs a lot of the European, or he's built a lot of the Euro guys uh, cars. So uh, yeah, we're making a super reliable, M52, B31, forged stroke, Frankenstein stuff. Maybe? Yeah. So we, we just finished putting right now the ARP main studs and the, what are these called? Caps. And the caps. Freaking A. The main caps. I, English, my third language, I miss, I freaking mix we all sorts of words. You, you, I know. Here? Yeah, but this is your third language too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Xbox kind of first. And yeah, second so ever. main caps, ARP, main studs, the crank, S52 crank right there. So all good. I'm getting excited, getting excited. Look at my head right there, non vanos. That thing is clean. Look at that. Mirror, mirror. Torquing the stocks to spec. What's the torque uh, in this one, Sam? I start, uh, the whole torque is 60. Okay. Round, but I started like in three. Uh, so I start 30, 45, and then 60. Nice. Because those both like to stretch. Yeah. As I said, I trust him. He knows what the heck he's doing. He's got a freaking thousand horsepower E30. So. I could just close my eyes and uh, I'll let him do what he's doing. <laughs> this thing is so good. Now look at that. He's spinning it by hand. Yes. Ah, oh, the man himself. He's got big arms. <laughs> <laughs> he's got big arms, yep. So let's prep this engine to be a little clean. I mean, we are at this point where we are building a full new engine, so why not make it good looking, right? So my boy over here told me just to get, you know, engine enamel, you know, up to 500 degrees. And uh, yeah, um, why not? That will be kind of good. So we've done a few coats of uh, whatever, uh, paint, and uh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, I like it. It's uh, kind of nice. 
uh, basically we decided to go with a with a um, light color so we could see any um, oil you know any oil leak is if there are any so if you want to paint if you want to paint your engine I know black you know doesn't get as dirty etc but it is better to get a color that is somewhat light so you could see if you are leaking oil or something else is going on so basically the way how the block looks right now is like this so it is kind of like a greenish like a camel green but it's light enough to where you guys could see where you guys see you know all the leaks and stuff and don't worry about all that painting all this we're gonna clean all this up and then basically when we run the engine we're gonna uh, drain the fluid and the, the oils so yeah so uh, yeah we're basically right now uh, I mean we just uh, flipped the engine over uh, we get a little cleaned and Sam's gonna start putting the uh, piston rings oil rings all that in the piston so we're gonna go through the process so you guys could see a little bit of how he does that because I don't even know how the heck to do it and uh, yeah So Sam, explain us what the heck, like which one goes where and why and so all that. So those are the oil ring mm -hmm. and they always have to be the opposite from each other. So they don't meet. Ah, they, interesting. They don't... Uh, so, so the grooves, the cuts, they don't meet, you mean? They don't meet, yeah. So they have to be opposite at all times? Yep. Wow. Okay, that's a cool trick. Because if it meet, uh, you could have some... Uh, you could have some uh, oil pass through. Oh, I have some blow by at that yeah. point. Be interesting. No, not blow by. Uh, Before you reach. Just oil pass through. Yeah, so oil it, pass through. That's cool. Same thing for the first and second ring. So we get the pistons all assembled and they're all numbered, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, basically because our machine shop weighted every single rod and piston. So everyone is matched. This piston was weighted with this rod, this piston with that rod, etc. So right now what we're using, it is Eagle, Eagle rods, 135 millimeters with uh, CP Carrillo uh, pistons. Um, these are custom made, custom 84.5, made it to the 135 uh, millimeter uh, rods, and it's got a few other little things. I mean, it's got, you know, like the HD pins and some other crazy stuff. I mean, look at that top, oops, look at that top groove, the, the top, uh, whatever, head, head, or whatever you want to call it. It's freaking massive, and it's got a crap load of oil ports. Look at that. Literally, it's got oil ports all over the piston, which is fantastic. I'm super excited about that. But anyway, we got to do six of those. It's going to take a few minutes, but uh, a few hours, a few hours. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll do that once they're done. I'll uh, basically show you guys the final product and then I'll show you guys next or we'll show you guys next uh, when we put them inside the block and that process a little bit. So once again, I forgot about this freaking video because I'm not used to making videos. <laughs> Bro, you made like 10 videos in the past two hours. <laughs> yeah, because I'm trying here. <laughs> so we're putting right now the pistons uh, in the engine. Sam over here is doing his magic and uh, I'm learning how to do all this and it's freaking wild. I mean, it's crazy. So. Piston press. Bang! Look at that beauty. Some people like it, like to use new tools. I like it uh, the old school way. Heck yeah, bro! Old school way is the way to do it. Yeah, I, growing up, uh, I used to help my older brother in the shop, and I was like, well, I think maybe seven or eight years old. So I'm always at the shop, like. Uh, 
I used to watch them dot engines. Nice. And that's how I got into cars. In Lebanon? In Lebanon. Nice. Dude. Before, before I moved here. His car is wild. Which one? His uh, drift car. The the the, the, uh, the E46. The E46, yeah. That is freaking insane. That motor have been making 1,100 horsepower for the past four years. Sheesh. Damn. Yeah. I'm going to post a little quick link on Sam's brother right here. Or here. Or here. Or there. I don't know. Somewhere in here. I'm going to post a link. But <laughs> yeah.